the eagle has landed. Hey guys, welcome to Arnold Space Station. In today's segment, we're going to learn everything there is to know about the physical year inside Salesforce. The physical year inside Salesforce is probably the most important thing to set up before you do anything else. The physical year controls two important aspects. One, it sets up the financial reporting for a business. So that way a business inside Salesforce can report on revenue year on year and therefore compare it as time goes on. The second reason it's very important is because every single business has a legal obligation towards their local tax department in whatever region they work and function in and report on revenue. So let's go ahead and have a look at what the fiscal year looks like inside Salesforce. Once you've logged in, you can go ahead and navigate towards the setup section. In case it's not open like how you have a look at it now, you can click on this particular gear wheel, it says setup, and click on the setup button. It will go ahead and pop up the setup in our brand new window. Using the quick find, you can go ahead and type in physical. Under company settings, you will find the physical year settings. By clicking on it, you can go ahead and open the settings. By default, Salesforce comes with the fiscal year set up in January. Here in Australia, our financial year starts on the 1st of July. So in order for us to go ahead and set that up, we'll go ahead, click on January, scroll down, select July, and it's at the start of July, which means it'll be the first day of July. As you can see, it's really important before you do anything to set up your fiscal year. There is a warning here already that says, if your forecast period is set to quarterly, changing your fiscal year start month will delete any existing forecast adjustments and quotas. It's as simple as clicking save and okay, to go ahead and make that change to your fiscal year. In the event your fiscal year does not start in July and does not run using a calendar month, you can go ahead and click custom fiscal year. But just be careful if you do go ahead and select custom fiscal year, it will affect the way reporting works and it will not let you change it back from the custom fiscal year. Let's go ahead and have a look and just see what different variations we have. So we can have things like uh, a structure that says 445, which means two four-week months and a five-week month. So I'll just go ahead and enable that. It will give you a prompt. Um, once you've read it and you understand all the different issues that you may encounter, reverting it back, you can go ahead and hit OK. Now, if you want to set up a brand new custom physical year, all you have to do is go ahead, click new. And it will ask you what is the custom setting for this particular fiscal year structure. I'm going to go ahead and just select the 12 months per year because I do not want to make things any more complicated. Here in Australia, we run based on the Gregorian calendar and we have 12 months in a year that we need to report on with regards to tax. All right guys, I hope I was able to show you exactly where you can find the fiscal year and how easy it is to set it up. Please be careful when you do make changes to the fiscal year as it will affect previous reporting. Especially if you're a company that has a lot of data in Salesforce, I would not recommend changing the fiscal year without completing a backup at the least. Hopefully you guys had some fun. I'll catch you guys in the next segment. The ankle has landed.